Hi everyone, Sane Man here. This video is brought to you by a donation from Mr. Anonymous. He's got a lot to say. And I'm gonna cut out most of it because it's way too long. But before I do so, let me first tell everyone about today's sponsor, the MGTOW Book Collection Part 2. Whether you're getting Camel Toe in Cambodia, banging babes and burkas in Turkey, or taking Polaroids of ladyboys in Thailand, Luca Vendetti has a series of books to make you live the dream. His new three booklet series includes how to live on $500 a month in Cambodia, Turkey, and Vietnam. In addition to his classic, How to Retire on 200k in Southeast Asia. He also has the MGTOW book. Visit MGTOWbooks.com and use the promo code SANDMAN to get 10% off. Now available in four formats. PDF, Mobi for Kindle, EPUB, and Text-to-Speech MP3. Sponsor link is down below. Anyways, here's what Mr. Anonymous has to say and I quote. Hello, Sandman. World War III has officially begun with Russia attacking Ukraine. This is all part of the plan of the elites in Russia, the United States, and China. I'm convinced that I've figured out exactly what the mysterious master plan is from the elites. Ask yourself what do Russia, China, and the United States all have in common? A vast, rapidly growing number of male incels due to female hypergamy, online dating, social media, and women in the labor force, etc. The elites of all three of these countries have been blackpilled for years now. The black pill holds the key into foreseeing what will happen in the future. We both know that the United States and all advanced first world civilizations in Europe are doomed to collapse. The rich elites know this as well. Do you know why the elites haven't done anything to prevent the collapse by eliminating online dating, anti-male divorce courts, and the welfare state, which is the lifeline for hypergamous single mothers, who refuse to settle with an average man? world domination and greed, that's why. You see, they knew if they actually fixed their country's plummeting fertility rates by getting rid of online dating and the like, the other countries would very soon follow suit, as they would immediately see the birth rates rise up again for the first time in over a decade. Red-pilled incels would spread the word on social media on how the elimination of online dating was the best thing that ever happened to them, as now they're finally getting laid through the warm approach with women just like back in the 90s. Europe would have knowingly or unknowingly just saved themselves from collapse. But you see, the black-pilled elites in the United States, Russia, and China see an opportunity. By withholding the black pill knowledge from the elites in Europe, they are allowing those countries to collapse so they can take them over after the West collapses from male incel revolutions. So that then begs the question, well, how do the elites in the three most powerful countries plan on preventing the collapse of their own country and the collapse of their own businesses? Simple by sending incel men who have no chance of mating, no chance of owning their own homes, and no chance of escaping wage slavery to their deaths in Ukraine. The incels have nothing to lose by attacking society, as society doesn't care about them, and they aren't getting laid no matter what they do. They understand that it's never going to change or get better unless they force the elites and the government to make changes or burn it all down, so that the women will be forced to pair up with any man just to survive. But how? By simply getting hired and then organizing a mass resignation at the same time with no plans of ever returning and then repeating the same process in another business to eventually bleed the elites of their wealth in order to force them to give in to the demands of the millions of suffering insults out there. Of course, this couldn't be done effectively now, but in 10 years when half of the entire male population are incels, these organized boycotts will be extremely effective at bringing the elites to their knees as large amounts of their money go up in flames as a quarter of their workforce quits at the same time. The black-pilled elites know that in the future, the incels will become a massive threat to their businesses. So what do they do? They kill off all the young men aged 18 to 24 before they have a chance to become black-pilled, which also greatly slows down the black pill from spreading quickly as the population of young males falls drastically. And young men are the main believers of the black pill. But what about the declining birth rate crisis in the United States and China due to female hypergamy? Simple. They plan on immigrating masses of young refugee men from Europe while the war tears across the continent, completely negating the effects of any birth rate crisis on the economy. There will be a shortage of men in the United States. This is why the elites have been paying people to promote polyamory all over the internet. They want the older men in their 30s and 40s, with two-story houses in the suburbs and resources with multiple wives, to impregnate all the young women they can, to keep the birth rate from decreasing much further. It pains me so much to know that I'm the only person who's intelligent enough to see this. Unquotes. Well, Mr. Anonymous, you wrote more, but I can't share it so much. 
First of all, WW3 has not started. That would be a nuclear one. The leftist West and their woke corporations have just gone insane canceling people, and now they're trying to cancel entire countries, i.e. Russia. So they get those ESG brownie points, of course. ESG, or environmental social governance, is just a social credit score for corporations. Also, you can't fix fertility rates as easily as getting rid of dating apps. It has to do with female empowerment, urbanization, and other factors. We saw Eastern European populations collapse before the Soviet Union and Warsaw Pact countries fell apart. People want to live a good urban lifestyle without suffering through a tough rural one. During the Cold War, Eastern Europe didn't have rampant divorce. Online dating and their women, for the most part, worked and took care of their families. But they were well below replacement back in the 1970s and 80s. You also can't get rid of computers, smartphones, and social media technology right now. It's the most addicting thing in the world. I've said before, if we go back to the 1920s or 1930s way of life to create enough boredom in people so that sleeping with others would be more exciting than listening to the radio and reading a book would be a good solution. I also don't think there's going to be any insult revolution as the average testosterone keeps falling. And most 19-year-old males these days have a testosterone level of a 65-year-old male back in the 70s. That's a scientific fact. We won't see massive incel militaries fighting each other like we'd see on the Ukraine battlefield. Instead, we'll see the rise of robots controlled by incels. In the United States today, 65% of the new military recruits can't even do a minute worth of push-ups when they first sign up. There are also only 1 million soldiers in Russia and the United States, and about 1.5 million in China. What about nukes? You talk as though we'll have some sort of conventional warfare without them, where hundreds of millions of men are marched to their deaths. Most men would rather just go to prison than fight a war like that. What's the government going to do if millions of men they refuse, like the truckers did in Canada? The elites know how to quiet the incels down. Just give them more porn, lover bots, fizzy pop drinks, and video games to shut them up and it's working. Just because they're incels doesn't mean that they aren't productive and pay taxes. I'm sure that most of them pay more tax out there than the empowered cat ladies. Also, men going on a great resignation won't work in 5 to 10 years. Hell, it's not working right now. Because the elites will just raise interest rates up like they are doing slowly right now and devalue the savings of men. And then those men will be forced back to work because they're poor. Tech stocks are down massively. Crypto just keeps falling and it's now down over half and now regular stocks are sliding too. Plus, automation will have taken many of the jobs from young men that resigned from working. Then those men will get UBI to sit at home and play GTA. They'll just get enough money to buy a smartphone and then fap off from the video games and their mono's basement on their way to oblivion. This is the way the world ends. Not while banging some babe, but with some guy that squirts on his own shirt. What the elites do want is the black pill to spread. Black pill channels are monetized unlike this one. Look at Stardust peddling black pills still collecting cash from Susan. Or wheat waffles. They aren't slowing the black pill down at all. In fact, they're speeding it up. They probably want fertility rates to crash because there'll be a resource shortage in the future. As for promoting polyamory, they won't. And besides, women don't want to share their husbands and fight other women to gain access to their resources. Plus, a man that can't afford multiple wives will probably bang them on the side, but won't marry any of them. So your theory is flawed. Maybe you prescribe to the crazy new theories that many flat earthers have also fallen for. Now we have atomic weaponry and atomic power deniers. They say it was easy to hoax like the moon landings or silence the 1,000 people or so that have gone into space. I guess all those people that saw the bombs fall on Japan or saw one of those countless nuclear tests are also in on the conspiracy. So how exactly do nuclear reactors work on magic beans and queefs perhaps? This idea that nukes are made up could lead to madness. If some soldier launches thinking it's not real and it'll just be a dud and then they start the actual third world war. That's not a mushroom cloud on the horizon, that's just your imagination. Because nuclear weapons don't exist, don't you know? Hopefully my channel or this video doesn't get taken down for atomic misinformation. From what I see in the Russia-Ukraine war, the Russians were supposedly pushed out of the north by Ukraine forces. But from the east, they keep marching onwards relentlessly. And will probably cut off Ukraine from the Black Sea and grind forward slowly. Supposedly they've lost one-third of their forces through KIAs, or through wounding. And I'm also hearing that they ran out of precision munitions, so that's why they're leveling cities to the ground these days. If the casualties are high, that will mean there'll be more women for every young Russian man in the future. That'll balance out the black pill situation to some extent. So one way you're right, Mr. Anonymous. 
the women will increasingly be desperate and will have to lower their standards ever so slightly. NATO claims that somewhere between 7,000 and 20,000 young Russian men have died and been ejected from their meat suits, hardly enough to cause demographics to balance out and give men the advantage. For that, you need a third or a quarter of all men to be blown out of existence, the way you saw in Yugoslavia, more specifically Serbia, back in WW1. Russia just wants a big fat buffer zone between itself and NATO. Let's see what happens as Finland decides to join NATO. Maybe the Russians will attack. Putin has done some saber-rattling on that as well. That might be what's needed to actually cause WW3. I don't think the West would stand for Finland being attacked. Then again, the West stood by in the Second World War as Mr. Mustache kept taking one country after another, until he took Poland. Funny he split Poland with Stalin, yet the West didn't declare war on Russia. In all my years studying history, I never watched a video or came across a historian explaining why it was okay for Stalin to take the eastern part of Poland but it wasn't okay for Hitler to take the Western portion. Maybe the West, along with Stalin, planned that all along. Maybe Hitler thought that if the Allies attacked him, that they would also be forced to declare war on Russia, which they didn't do. Maybe he got played and then got played again a second time when the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor and he had to declare war on the United States. The United States, of course, put all its effort into taking him out. Maybe once again, there are forces at play that none of us understand here. Maybe Putin in the West made a secret deal to go after the followers of a certain ideology that worships the backward Buddha symbol in Ukraine. Maybe all this is planned to create inflation and destroy the economy, which then ultimately leads to a deflation. I don't think any of us will really know what's going on here. Anyways, that's it for today. Thanks again to Mr. Anonymous for the donation and topic. Don't forget to smash the like button the way that Europe and America smashed Mr. Mustache, even though he thought they wouldn't. Bang the bell and check out the mystery link. Follow me on BitChute, Twitter, and Facebook to get to Mars video today. Subscribe to me on Minds, Odyssey, and MGTOW.TV to get the video for the day after tomorrow. This channel's been demonetized. And if you want to help me keep making content, then please support me through Subscribestar. There's a link to it in the description. Or you can do an hour-long coaching chat with the Sandman for $45. US And I won't rush you out the door like a cheap whore. Thanks for taking your daily dose of red pills, and remember, a red pill a day keeps the female Ukrainian refugees that left all their male incels to fight and die against the Russians away. So enjoy the rest of your day, and cheers.